Hey guys! Today's video is just a quick little makeup tutorial that I've been wanting to do for a while now because sometimes I wear it when I'm going to work because it's simple. And I want to ease into this because I want to try to do a series for fall. I don't know how I'll stick to it because I'm not good at sticking things. But I'm going to try like festive for fall. Like it can be tutorials or it might be like hauls of fall things or Halloween stuff or like um can be like arts and crafts or foods or I don't know anything so I might gonna ugh, I might try to do that so let me know if you think that's a good idea down below so today's tutorial is a quick cranberry gold eye which is perfect for fall not too crazy it's not too dark because fall you want to stay lighter because you lose your tan and can't handle them dark smoky eyes I don't really have much to say about this, but I'm using my um, BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette and I'm using the Naked One Palette. So you can just find colors, they don't have to be the same colors that I use, but they can be similar. Any shiny gold colors or any cranberry colors work perfectly. You only need two colors. It's not that hard. And so if you want to learn how to do this look, keep watching. So first off, I'm going to be taking Badge of the Bronze from the Color Tattoo and I'm going to be using that as a base. If you have a color that's brighter than this, you can use it. This is just the most gold color I have at the moment. Then we're going to be taking Half Baked from the Naked palette and we're going to be putting that in the center of our eye. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to be putting another color around it and we'll be going back over it at the end here. And then we're taking Aphrodite from the Galaxy Chic Palette from BH Cosmetics. And we're putting that on the inner corner and outer corner of our eye. And we're just going to blend it into that half bake that we put on. It's up to you on how much or little gold you want to shine through. And then we're going to bring it and we're going to connect it around the top and we're going to, we're not really cutting the crease, we're just encircling the gold we put on. And you can make the edge of this round or to a V if you want to. I'm doing a little bit of both today. And you can make this darker or lighter depending on how you want it to look. Just want to make sure it has a nice blended effect when you're all done. So then we're just going to go back, ooh, shaky, we're just going to go back with the half baked and touch up the center of the eye. Half baked is just such a really, really shiny gold color. So it works perfect when you want to blend it in with another color. Then taking a really fine lining brush, you're going to take half baked again and you're going to line it underneath your eye. You can do the whole eye one color if you want to, but I'm going to do the outer half in the cranberry color. So then you're just going to take Aphrodite and you're going to line the outer corner of your eye. You can blend those two together as much as you want. And then to kind of blend the top of your eye so it's not bare, we're going to be taking Virgin from the Naked Palette and we're going to be putting that up on the top of our eyelid to blend out the cranberry and give a little bit more shine because you don't really want to put an actual color up here. You just want to blend it out a little bit and give your upper eye a little bit of color. Then I'm just taking my Miss Manga Mascara, which is my favorite, and I'm going to be putting on my mascara. And hopefully not mess up anything because this is my worst part. You can 
put a liner, a black liner or a wing liner on with this, but I'm not going to. Because I wanted to use it as a nice light, well not light, but an easy go-to look. Because sometimes when you put liner on, it gets a little crazy. And then I'm going to put some on my bottom lashes. I don't usually put bottom mascara on, but with this eyeshadow, it needs a little bit of color. Let's touch up this side too with some mascara. And that's about it. And to finish it up, you might not want to put on a crazy dark lipstick. So I'm using this um, Liplicious lip gloss from Bath & Body Works, and it's whipped vanilla. It's kind of like a light light burgundy color and if you want to you can go with a darker lipstick i just think with this side a nice light lipstick goes nicely so here's the final look so i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and if you want to see more fall makeup looks then let me know down below and if there are any colors you want me to do or anything like that also let me know and I like to keep it simple nothing too crazy because I don't have time to get ready in the morning for work so that's why this is a nice two color look simple to recreate nothing crazy and like I said you can switch it up you can put some thick eyelashes on you can put some eyeliner on you can sass this baby up as much as you want to you can use darker cranberry whatever you want to it's a very versatile look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day love you bye